Hi everybody and welcome back. I'm doing a little bit more work today with syllable stress and I'm focusing this video on numbers because it sometimes, actually a lot of the time, English numbers can be pretty confusing. And a lot of my students will ask me to repeat numbers over and over and over, especially when you're on the phone and you're somebody's trying to give you a phone number. Now this happens for native English speakers too. There are many times that I am on the phone and I need to clarify with what I'm saying. If somebody says, I have 18 cases of parts, okay? I say 18 or 80. So you can have 80 and 18. They're so close. The spellings are very, very close. Let me show you an easy way to figure out how to differentiate or hear the differences in those two, okay? So this is 40. And this is 14. The first thing is that with this T sound in 40, in American English, in American English, we make that T sound a D. So you'll hear me say 40, 40. So this sounds like a D, 40, okay? Now, when I have this word, which is this, you know, it's very similar, we have 14, 14. So what happened there? Am I saying 14? No. I'm pronouncing this T as a T. 14. Okay? That's the first thing that you should know. This one, so that's going to happen the same way if I say 90, 80, 20. Actually, I just said it wrong there. 20. Okay? So I'm actually not even usually saying the D sound. 90, 80. 20. So in this 20, I'm actually not even saying T or D, I'm saying 20. 20. Okay? Like the sound isn't even there. 20. Now with the teens, 14, 19, 18, I am pronouncing that sound. I'm saying it clearly. 14. 14. Let's do a couple more. 18. So the, so the T is strong, and it's a, it's a, it's a normal T sound, um, and the stress has changed. So the stress in this word is right here, 40. So you're doing that stair step, 40, okay? The stress over in this word is on the second syllable, 14. So we're going up at the end, 14. So those two things are different, okay? You pronounce the T in the teens, and you change the stress. And those two pieces will help your English sound way more clear when you're talking with numbers in English, okay? Let's do a couple practices with dates and phone numbers and years, and that'll help you guys feel a lot more comfortable when using English numbers. 